what we have here, now the two factors to account for. We've got the advertising and we've got the year we are in. And now we're going to use those two factors to predict the sales. Okay, so this time we can just use the interest of and the slope because those are only good for when you have one independent variable. Here you have two independent variables, the advertising and the year. So now we've got to do something else, something completely different. And here are the instructions. Uh, there are two ways. There are two ways to, to do multiple regression. And there's more than two ways, but here's two ways. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Using the Linus function, this will work for both Mac and Windows. Okay, so that's more important. The other way, using this data analysis tool pack, is not available on Mac. So we're going to concentrate on using, using this function. Okay, but the, the data analysis one, uh, I gave you the instructions here, so if you're going to get to it, and if you have Windows and you want to try it, and you know, of course, uh, uh, feel free to try it. So what we want to do is here, uh, we want to uh, make a, a regression equation, sales is equal to, and then we're going to say intercept B sub zero, and then plus B one times the year, and then plus B two times the advertising uh, amount you know, advertising, how much you spend on advertising. So we want to uh, f we want to come up with a regression equation like this. So this is just, it's just, uh, this is the same as before, except you have this one more term. So one more term with uh, advertising dollars. So you have, now you have three numbers. So not just intercept and the slope, but intercept and then slope one, slope two. So you have kind of two kinds of slopes, two coefficients you need to get. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to go over here highlight these three cells. So select the three cells. Now you want to type equal line and then st. Okay, uh, like linus. And then it says y values followed by the x values. Sales, that's the first one. That's your y values. Y values and then comma. And now there are two x variables, like x1, x2. No, x1, x2, like x1, x2. So I'm going to select both of the columns at the same time. So that goes from A6 through B15. So select both of the columns. Okay. And then close the parentheses and wait, don't hit enter. Okay. Like it says here, hold down control button, shift button together. Okay. And then hit enter. And then hit enter. And this is a special way of putting in these array functions. The array functions are those whose results take up more than one cell. Uh, so you're trying to get how many values here? You want to get intercept and then two slopes. So that's three values. It's three values. So this function will give you those three values you know, all simultaneously, but you got to do that little special key combination to get all three values. Uh, so here, instead of hitting enter, you want to hit, you want to call down control, shift, and then hit enter, and now you get all three values. If you just hit enter, it'll just give you one value, <laughs> the first value. Okay. <coughs> okay, now here the one thing to remember is that for some strange reason, it gives you the numbers in the reverse order. Okay. Okay, it goes backwards. So it gives you the uh, uh, B sub two, and then B sub one, and then B sub zero. Uh, so I labeled the cells in this way, so I remember it's going to be in this order. It's not, it's not in B0, B1, B2, but it's in B2, B1, B0. Uh, okay. okay, so you got to take that, uh, remember this, remember this. Uh, so it's not going to be in order, so it's going to be in a backwards order. Okay, so that's the intercept, and this one is for the first variable, and this one is for the second variable. So first one was the year, second one was the, was the advertising. So now how do we use this? You know, this means now we have the coefficients. That means we have the, our regression equation. Okay, so sales is equal to intercept negative 3.801 and then plus and the 0.668 times a year, then plus, and uh, advertising is 0 0.604, 0 0.604 times the advertising, okay, so it will be like this. Now you could plug in numbers in here. So now it says here, it says here, predict the sales in year 11 
given, so year 11, given 10% increase in advertising compared to year 10. So I already have this number here, uh, 11, no, 10% more than this. So no, 48 and then 10% more is 52.8. That's how much we're gonna spend on advertising and in year 11. So here's the year. So I plug in here, 11, and then 52.8, I plug it in here, 52.8. So that times that plus, 11 times this, this, and then minus 3.801, and that gives me my, my forecast. So sales was this number, right, plus uh, 0.68, that's over here, times year 11, then plus 0.604 times the advertising amount, and that gives us 35.4396. Uh, uh, this tells you that year annual increase is about 0.668. No, 668 bicycles, right? Or how do you spell it? Advertising uh, remains the same. Same. Okay. Then next year, uh, expect to sell 668 more. Okay, so that's what this coefficient means. This is increase in the sales, increase in sales from uh, one more year, when the year goes up by one, and then the other variable remains the same. And this one says, if I'm in the same year, in the same year, if, the if I spend more money in advertising, okay, uh, then that tells you how many more bicycles you could expect to sell. If the increase advertising dollar dollar by okay by now the thing is what's the increase of one here? Is it one dollar? Actually be one thousand dollars by one thousand that is increase <coughs> advertising by one. By you know, one unit means thousand dollars. Right. Uh, then uh, then expect to sell how many more bikes? 604, right? 604, 604 more, more bicycles. So this gives you an idea of the effect of the you know, individual variables to the sales.